black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, I got the bag, huh? You guys didn't know the bag is rap term for I got that money. In my case, I don't have 100 stacks in here, but I do have some chicken from KFC, a little box meal. So let's check it out, see what's going on. Didn't have the time to cook today, so we are going to eat some KFC. It's been a while since I had KFC. I think the last one I did, I looked like crazy stoned in. It's pretty funny. Go check that video out if you have not seen it. Um, but yeah, let's get to this uh, box meal here. Okay, so in the bag, there's sub bags, littler bags. It's like a uh, Russian nesting doll of bags. What's in this bag? This is not a bag. Mashed potatoes. A diet Pepsi. In here, ooh, a little dessert action. Look at that. Soft and limp. How they don't like it. Honey mustard, yo, this is dope actually because when I selected the honey mustard, I was like, am I gonna get one? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get one. They hooked me up with two. That is really, really sick to me. Shout out to this KFC. What's up? Or whoever was working there. What's up? That's dope. Thank you. Of course, we got this uh, smashed in, mashed in box. That's how they do like it. And let's open the flap on that box and see what we got. Honestly, this is like a really good deal. So $10.99 and you're getting individual popcorn nuggets, a sandwich, and two pieces of chicken as well. So, show you guys there, boom. A mashed potatoes, a fry, or a fries cookie, a drink, and some dipping sauce, 10.99. That to me is actually a sick deal. So let's get this a little bit set up and then let's get to it. What am I gonna do here? What am I going to do here? Uh, okay, let's figure this out. I'll be with, with, with you in a second. Uh, so we got the two pieces, popcorn, chicken, the mashed potatoes, the sandwich. This is where KFC tends to fall flat usually. Lettuce is really quite shitty. No tomato, I was fully assuming tomato, but I stay strapped. So let's just do it. Like, let's just get some tomato on there. One. Just isn't a chicken sandwich unless you got some tomato on there. Honestly, KFC Canada, if you're watching, guys, like it's not that difficult. Just lettuce, crunchy lettuce and even some of it like look at this this is what you've given me like four garbage strands of lettuce like i love your product i do love the chicken and everything but can a man just get a real fucking sandwich for once in his life like, how hard is it just to give me some lettuce and tomato there we go happy camper okay while i'm opening these so i don't take up too much of your time if you guys want to support me in any sort of way everything is down below and all the links in the description you can go check out the, oh my God, this honey mustard. You can go check out the Spotify. You can go follow my Spotify, listen to music, cop it on iTunes. Follow the kid. Help me make my dreams and passions come true by uh, supporting the music. Also, if you guys want to rep the merch, the merch is down in the link below as well. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let it, let's get straight to this food now because this is taking entirely too long. First things first, I'm going for a bite of this sandwich. There you go. Close up. But yeah, real shit, like this, the chicken's great. Like, it's super, super good. It's just like, this wouldn't be this good if I hadn't done that to it. So okay, I see. I just ask that you please step your shit up a little bit. You're a fucking billion dollar corporation or some shit by now, I'm sure. You're telling me you can't spare a couple shreds of lettuce and a couple slices of tomato? Come on. Like, let's go. Mashed potatoes. They're all right. A little stiff. Not as fluffy as I'd like them to be. That honey mustard, uh, popcorn chicken though. 
pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. What chicken pieces did I get here? I don't know what this one is, if it's white or dark, but let's just go for it. Mmm, looking kind. Pretty disappointed right now. Mmm, it's juicy. It was looking a little nappy there. As I'm getting further into it, it is better. Okay, I can deal with that. Had chicken in my last video. I don't know, I might just be on a crave. happening again it's Friday night I've been uh, came down with a bit of a cold another day Been fighting it off for a few days, and I'm still not entirely better. But like, I've just been moping around the house. You know when you get sick and you're trying to get your rest and relaxation, you're trying to get better, but at the same time. Kind of stuck and start to get restless, and you just want to. Even if you're still sick, you just want to go do something. Well, that's where I'm at tonight. Me and my friend group. We have this group chat. There's like, I want to say like 15 of us in it. It's this group of friends that like, we've all known each other for so long. And we like joke around in this chat, but like every week we have this thing where once a week on the weekend, we try to get everybody together to meet up to like keep those real life friendship connection vibes alive. Because what's hard out here, like when you're getting older, is it's sad but true. Everybody's so wrapped up in their pursuits, trying to become what they want to become, grinding or in the new relationship. So you have girlfriends, wives, or whatever, getting married, all their shit. That all starts to distract from friendship. But I mean, it's natural. We have to like chase our dreams and, you know, further our careers and relationships and live our lives. But it comes with the sacrifice sometimes of those friendships. Things get distant. And to the point where sometimes it could just drift off and just not be anymore. So we're trying to remedy that by like, we just have this group chat where 
we all still fuck around in it and laugh. And once a week, my one friend's wife bartends at like our local pub place, at like our local bar that we like to frequent. And so tonight is that night. Tonight is like we're all going to get together and drink and just laugh and chat and whatever. And even though I'm still sick and like been sick, and it's against the betterment of my health, I just am like at the point of just, I feel so like house ridden and bedridden. That I like need to go out. And just kinda have some fun and just see my guys and shit, you know? And girls. See my people. But it's an unfortunate thing. Like, tell me how many of you guys have that, like, I don't know, for me, it's just weird how back, like, when you're, you know, when you're younger in your teens and stuff, You used to hang out with people just for whatever, right? Like, for no reason other than to hang out and it was like, you know, sober a lot of the time. I just feel like as you get older and you get into your 20s and stuff, a lot of friendship revolves around drinking. Um, let me know in the comments if that rings true for you because it certainly does for me. I feel like as you're older, the time that you do have to spend with your friends, it's like, let's get some drinks. That's kind of how it is. Also, that could could be a specific breed of human, but like I know there's people out there who are friends still that like go get a kale shake and go hit the hot yoga together. Like I know that that exists. I think that's just pretty rare. I think a lot of people's friendships are based on food and alcohol, probably. You know, it could be a casual dinner, but they're still going to be drinking. Or just uh, come over and let's get drunk. Or meet at the bar and get drunk. solid pretty solid for 10.99 i can't really complain this is like a lot of food good variety so yeah value your, your friendships because they are very important I personally feel like one of the most important things. To me, life is pretty shit without friends. You gotta have those people in your life who are like-minded and on your same wavelength. you can just laugh hysterically with inside jokes dumb sayings like to me that's one of the best feelings in life is just it's 
spending time and just laughing with people that you love. And people that love you back. People that have your back. That would help you when the chips are down and shit hits the fan. One of the most important and best things in life. In my opinion. Went no ice today. Mm hmm. Just wanted to do like a throwback classic, no frills, trashy, whatever the fuck bang, you know? No holes barred, no rules, no fanciness. Let's just eat. Riff off the top of my head. Vibe out, you and me, you and I. Late night snacking, midday snacking, early morning crush, who knows? Oh my god. I don't know when you're watching this. Just as long as you're watching it. Know what I mean? <clears throat> this honey mustard looks radioactive. But I'm about it. Man's was hungry today too, as you can see. I needed this. It's a good foundation for what's going to happen later. But it's only like quarter to five right now in the afternoon. Drinking won't start till probably like nine. So, give myself some time to digest. Who knows, I might even be starving by then again. Cookie time. I feel like I just gotta do it for you guys. I just never eat anything sweet on this channel or dessert at all, so. The meal came with it. Let's do it. Man, this is more delicate than my emotions when I'm drunk. Holy crap. It's just crumbling. I barely even hold it. Mm hmm. Oh, good. V, 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 nice. Mm. Almost a little too crumbly, though, you know? Shouldn't really. Should just snap off into pieces, but not be like desert sand. But the flavor's on point. It is good. All right. Nice. That was pretty solid. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one. Eat good. Live well. Stay true. Peace.